Hey, we're okay. live. <laughs> we're live, yes. Lambros. What were you telling me about Panathinaikos? I don't remember. I was telling some you of... that I was, I was <laughs> telling you that some of my friends are fans of Panathinaikos. Ah. Yes. <laughs> so you should come to watch a game. I would love at to. At Leoforos. I would love to watch a game. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a date. Okay. For the new For next year. Yes, yeah. Super League okay. Premier. Okay. Got okay. It. Yes. Uh, when a new season of Castle is uh, Done. Uh, and Fox. Yes. Yes. Then, then I can come and start watching some professional Greek uh, yes. soccer. Yes. yes. Okay, done. And learn about the Psi, the Theta, the Phi. Yes, the all letters. the letters. Yes, exactly. So yeah. I can read Greek like a pro. So thank you very much for this interview for People Greece. Thank you. Uh, it's very nice to have you here. Uh, is this your first time in uh, Greece? It's my first time in Athens. I visited Thessaloniki a while ago, but this is my first time here. And how do you like it? Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the people are so generous. They're excited to share their country, to share their culture and, um, and language and wonderful kind of historical spots with me, which is really a privilege. Um, and also, I, I'm just enjoying being able to kind of talk about the show and share some of you know, my work with people here. Do they often, uh, fans ask you about uh the end of uh, Castle and the next uh, the next episodes and some spoilers maybe. <laughs> yes, of course. Everyone's always trying to. Connect so, so when, uh, what do you say to them? You know, I try to find out where they are in the storyline, um, and I for season seven, everyone always asks me what's going to happen season seven, and I think we're all riding the same wave, which is Andrew Marlowe is going to let us know, you know? They're working on it right now um, back in LA, and when I get back over there and we start up filming again in the middle of July, I'll find out <laughs> about what's happening. But for right now, no one's kind of given so me a word. You're going to tell us uh, at least on Twitter? Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll... I, have, I have so many fans of you that uh, yeah. they, uh, they complain because you don't tweet enough. <laughs> One of them says uh, Tana doesn't tweet for 60 days. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. I think it's good sometimes to take a break from Twitter, you know? I think it's good sometimes to let social media sit aside. I'm working on a film right now in Italy, and it's been really nice just being in the film. But I'll be back, I promise. Tell me about the film, if you like. Um, it's called The Tourist. Uh, it stars Brett Dalton from The Shield. Um, and it's, uh, it centers around this game called Calcio Storico, which is an old, uh, it's, it's kind of like soccer meets, um, uh, meets fighting. And it's this old game that was played uh, that is continued still to this day. It's been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. And um, basically Florence gets divided into four quarters and each quarter develops a team and they play and they beat each other up for hours mm. on the field. It's very mm. rough and violent. What are you doing that? Was your part? I'm one of the players. No, ah. I'm not. <laughs> um, I, uh, I play uh, uh, an American uh, immigrant to Italy who's um, kind of the local that's related to the lead guy and um, brings him closer to the culture there and kind of creates a doorway for him to enter that world. Okay, sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to film something in Greece sometime? I don't know, man. Invite me. Yeah. I am. Well, oh. let's talk to the directors. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, after the interview? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me about uh, this mysterious woman, Beckett. Yes. Uh, everyone tries to find out uh, what's going to be uh, the next episodes. She's very weird. She's very powerful, dynamic. Yes. Uh, how do you like uh, acting in this role? It's wonderful. It's developed over time. Um, I think that they've opened up a lot of layers and colors to the character that I think makes her more true to form. Um, she's a woman in a position of authority. And what's exciting about that is that this show is not afraid of showing all the colors of a woman in authority. Um, sometimes she is that authority figure, sometimes she is an avenging angel, sometimes she's um, in love, uh, sometimes she's a big dork, you know? Hmm. And I think that that's believable and hopefully something that a lot of people can relate to, whether it is a person that they see themselves as or it's a person that they see in their wives, their daughters, their mothers, and so on, you know? Yeah, and it's a series that, uh, although it doesn't have the, the title is Castle, yeah. Beckett is very strong, her role is very strong. 
she could be the first name. The show obviously centers around the concept of this the writer, writer yeah. who um, who finds a muse in her. Um, but the show has drawn from a lot of older resources like His Girl Friday and uh, Philadelphia Story. These are all really old movies, um, but they were films in which the female and the male character uh, were equals in so many ways and um, needed each other to play off of each other. And that was a part of the spark that made it interesting to watch. So when you look at like Catherine Hepper Hepburn and Spencer Tracy hmm. or um, uh, Cary Grant and Catherine Hepburn and Marcello Mastroianni and Sofia Loren, those two people, they're magic when they're together on screen, you know? And I think that this story um, was drawing from a lot of those older kind of models. Yeah, do they often ask you if uh, you could be a couple with uh, Castle? Not um, Castle, the actor. <laughs> with Nathan? Yeah. Um, you know, Nathan is, he's my colleague. He's a fellow actor and I um, respect him, his work, and um, I think that as long as we're creating a great story and hopefully entertaining people, I'm hoping that that's good for everyone. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's enough. It's enough. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> How many Germans and uh, Dutch people and Italian uh, that asked me to ask you on Twitter uh, if you're going to have uh, Castle Babies? Oh, really? Yes, in the seventh <laughs> season. I don't know, man. I think you'll have to talk to Andrew Marlowe about <laughs> that one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have a clue about that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't Would know. Would you like it? No, I mean the series to, to, uh, have, to have such a such an ending. Um, I think I don't know where I think they, I I think that they should go. You know, they finished off season six in a place that even shocked me. I don't know what we're gonna do next. I don't even know how we're gonna come away from that. I have no idea what we're gonna do now. Usually I kind of have an inkling, and this time I don't. So um, I don't know. I'm kind of just like, okay, whatever you guys want to do, let's let's go and play together, and hopefully I can bring something to the story. But I really, I don't have like any kind of forethought on what I would love to see happen because I'm kind of still reeling from what we just finished with, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Uh, so what's uh, <laughs> uh, what's the thing that you believe that uh, uh, has Castle? I mean, the series and uh, does uh, such a success? I think that Castle is a success because um, it's a little bit of everything. You know, it's like dessert after dinner. Um, it has the drama and it has the romance and it has the comedy. Um, and each story is kind of a finished package so people can come in and they can enjoy it and they might miss a week, but they can come back in afterwards. Um, so I think that that's part of the reason why. The characters are alive too, you know, the characters are unusual. They always create a wonderful kind of side story um, that brings in a lot of the regular cast and I think that makes it interesting and that makes me invested in the story and wanting to come back and watch it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when Castle is uh, finished, yeah. uh, how do you imagine uh, your next uh, part in a TV series, for example? Some, um, something uh, totally different. Yeah, I don't. I I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'm um, I'm just open to seeing what's next. I hope it's great. I hope it's interesting and challenging for me as an actor. And I hope that it um, is something that will challenge audiences. You know, like I love films and I love amazing storytelling so if I can dive into something that um, that will be satisfying in that vein um, I can't wait but I have no idea what sort of story it'll be. If you had to choose a huge success on mm -hmm. TV and mm -hmm. a huge success on a movie. I'd rather I don't know if it's about movies versus television anymore because television has um, risen and it's become a big draw for wonderful storytellers. I really just want to tell a great story, you know? Mm -hmm. So whether it's on film or television, I just want it to be compelling, you know? Do you prefer uh, the title of uh, best drama actress yeah. or the sexiest women uh, on TV? I mean, both titles are obviously, you know, flattering, but um, I'm drawn to talent. So I think that people that uh, can convey talent and 
um, that are committed to the job at hand are really interesting, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that, that connects me, yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite movie? Oof, I have a lot. Um, I'll give you a couple, yeah, and then okay. that, then hopefully that'll satiate you for a little while. But don't, don't commit me to these for the rest of my life. Okay? No, for the rest of your life. No, for because the rest they're just. Of, uh, okay. For the visit. For the uh, yes. Yeah, okay. and the next time we see each other, then you could be like, we'll oh, go what's to your watch Panathinaikos, and yeah. then I'll ask you again. And then I'll have maybe another. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. You have a chance to. Um, so let's say Dog Day Afternoon. Uh, there will be blood. Um, <laughs> the Princess Bride. Um, City of God, the Brazilian film. That's three. That's four. Ah, uh, four. I yeah. know. I know. You that said was, two. I know. That's terrible. Okay. Sorry. And the part that uh, you uh, you dream to play yeah. in a movie that you like. Oh Jesus! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many, but I can't think of anything right now. Um, I don't know, man. I read stuff all the time, and some of them are really great. It's far and few between, and when they pop, they just explode and hmm. blow your mind, and they stick with you forever. You know. Okay, I, I wish you uh, you you play the part you dream. Thank you. Tell me about ATP. The Alternative Travel Project. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's an initiative that I started, I think, about three or four years ago, and it's aimed at encouraging people to get out of the bubble of their own cars. Um, and to go car free for one day. And the reason that that came about was because I was traveling through Los Angeles and Los Angeles is a very car centric community. Yes, yes. And um, it creates a certain kind of culture that makes it difficult for a person who's new to the city to feel like they're a part of a community. Um, and it separates and kind of uh, ostracizes people in a way. Um, and so what I thought was one day when I had a voice that might reach more people that I would try to encourage people to just volunteer a day with um, go, by using public transit or by walking or by cycling, anything that was kind of stepping outside of the bubble of the car. Um, because that has reverberating effects on yes. the environment. It has um, a huge success. It's been really great. Yeah. People have been doing it um, all over. Uh, Europe, all over the world, and committing days without a car. And I've got some really great stories of people that have, you know, met the loves of their lives on the bus and <laughs> gotten married and have children now. So it's uh, it's nice. It's it's um, it's catching on. Yeah. So okay, you'll tell me these stories in the next time we meet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that was I like fun. It very much. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you. Okay. Ciao. Bye.